thoughts like that go through my head. <laughs> Mine too. <laughs> no, it was, you know, she she has a unique opportunity right now. Um, if you just look at the makeup of our team, um, it, you know, that to, to, to get those minutes. And um, she stayed out of foul trouble today. I don't know if it was for lack of defense or what, but um, she did a good job. I think she, I mean, the ball has to go inside. We can't rely on Madison Cass to make outside shots. We can't rely on Abby. We can't rely on Jayla Davis and Brooke to hit outside shots. The ball has to go inside. And she did a good job. Um, you know, I challenged her to grab some rebounds. Um, I think she can give us more on the offensive end, off, you know, crashing the glass. But um, just proud of her for, you know, a year ago, maybe she did. There's no way anybody thought she'd be out here for 26 minutes. And um, But she, she she's growing. and. and you, I mean, really, is she a sophomore? I mean, she played an entire year, not a lot of minutes, um, in front of a COVID crowd. So um, for her to come out here and her first home game with some fans, I mean, that's, that's pretty big time for both her and Madison. Right. Um, but knowing the way that you like to run, and you want to get up and down the floor, how, how does she fit into that, that plan? Yeah, well, we've got a couple of different looks in transition. That if she's the first post down, we do something different. If she's the trail, we, we'll do something different as well. And, and we'll just continue to, that'll continue to um, just kind of evolve as the season goes on. You know, ultimately, if she can be our first rim runner every time down the court, you know, well, I'm not, basketball's not difficult. I mean, let's throw it to the 6'6 six, six post and let her turn and shoot a layup. So, um, and, and she's going to continue to get in better shape. Uh, you know, she's she battled some some ankle stuff and feet stuff this summer, so she didn't really have a, a, a full off season. Um, but uh, like I said, we she's going to be on the court. And the ball's got to go inside. So it had to be nice. I mean, I think there was during that stretch in the start start of the second half where she scored eight straight. But one of those was a transition basket where she was running out the floor. And the one where she cherry picked, or <laughs> the one? Where <laughs> no. Um, no, I think. Well, I think the one she actually ran the floor, and then the other one, I think she thought we got the steal um, quicker than we did, and she was just underneath the basket. But, and even well, honestly, even the other two, um, she scored early there in the third quarter. we were on her rim, rim running in transition, even on a made that I think it was a missed basket, but us getting the ball at the court, and she was the first post down. And if we can do that, then, you know, like I said, basketball's simple. Let's start to the 6'6 girl. Uh, so you started each game 11-0. Is, is that the, the trend for you guys now? I mean, I'll take, 11, <laughs> I'll take an 11 nothing lead um, any time. Uh, we, we just got to do a good job of keeping our foot on the gas. Uh, you know, give Western Michigan credit. They, 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 they made a couple changes there in the second half, and we didn't adjust well to them. Um, maybe with purpose, uh, you know, I think I uh, always felt like we were comfortably going to win, but we, we've got to be able to, to, to put our team in situations where they're going to grow in tough moments, and for the most part, we, we, we found a way to, to be gritty on the other end, and we, you know, during that stretch, we missed some open shots, um, and when we do miss those shots, we'll talk, you'll hear me say that often, we're going to go through spells where we just don't make shots, it's just, it, we just are, and, and we've just got to get and stay more focused on the defensive end. The value of Janae Terry, uh, they got within nine there, 59-50, and then she, she kind of scores a couple baskets for you to create some separation. But leaning is, is leaning on her experience that she's had in the Big Ten. How big will that be as you get through this? As you go through this season? Yeah, as the season progresses. I mean, she's played two years in, in Power Five for you know for a Power Five team, and she just brings a confidence about her. Um, she just wants to win. And she doesn't care what it takes. She just wants to win. And I think that bleeds down to everybody on our team. It's just kind of like this trickle effect that nobody cares about anything. Nobody cares whether they're shooting in. Nobody, nobody cares if they're on the court, right? The, the, the ultimate thing for us is that Purdue scores more points than the other team. And JT bleeds that into everybody else. What was, uh, what was improvement from game one to game two that you like? Defensively, I thought uh, our, our help side defense was better. Um, and the last couple of days, all we did was focus on guarding the balls from the wing. You know, guarding the ball from the wing. We've got to do a better job of guarding the ball from the top of the key because I, I think they just kind of picked on us there late in the, in the fourth quarter um, and, and got to the paint. But for the most part, there, especially in the first half, we were really disciplined in doing what we wanted to do defensively. And I think that's why we were able to jump out into a lead. Second half, we missed shots. We lose that focus, right? And, and that's what we've got to do a better job of. Just, but I think that's going to come as, as time. 
I mean, day 59, I've been the head coach. I mean, I mean, I think the, the product is pretty good right now for, for day 59 because they've all bought in. And we're going to continue to get better. It's going to be a process, and we'll, but, I, but we promise each other, and I refuse, I refuse to skip a step. We can't jump to the end. We've got to, we've got to make sure we take steps and, you know, find a way to grind out two wins uh, to start the season. I'll take it. Now, Friday night, uh, we were here, and there was, I know the, the men had three or four um, screening um, fouls called, and everything like you had a couple of here in this game. Uh, is that, that must, I think that's a point of emphasis early on, and is that something that the players have to adjust to, to not get out of their screen so quickly? Yeah, I think a, a couple times we, we're, we're trying so hard to get some of our teammates open that we do, we, you know, we move a little bit quicker, but the fact that we are hitting a body makes me smile. Because we don't, we, we whiff quite a bit. So I'll take a couple moving screens just because we're, we're our intent is good, um, and, and I think that's that's kind of the maturity thing. Like we'll, we'll continue to get better as the season goes on. Yeah. Now um, I noticed, you know, the um, well, Mike Madison mentioned it. You mentioned it, playing in front of the home crowd for the first time in in a year and and everything. Um, obviously, there's a lot of inter a lot of good energy. There, there's been a lot of positive energy. Seems like, and that flows there. I had a, a guy message me during the game that on TV it looked like you guys were having fun, and and all that. Can you talk about, uh, you know, how how this group is the the uh, chemistry is seems to be pretty good with them. It does, and uh, you know, the, it's a long season, and obviously we're going to go through some ups and downs. Um, but if we can stay together and have fun playing basketball, you know what? How many how many young women around the world are just dreaming of a chance to play college basketball. And we've got 15 kids that get to wear Purdue across their chest. We've got 15 kids that get to, that get to come to practice every day. Like that's, you know, what a gift. What an opportunity they have in front of them. It's not, it's not a job. It's not, oh, I have to go to practice. It's I like get to go to practice. And every day they, they, come, they come in and they work. They work for each other. They work for us as a staff. And, they're just a fun group, and it, it's amazing what happens when you have good positive energy and you have fun. I, I think the basketball guys just tend to reward that kind of effort out there. Just what Abby did today with the 11 assists and kind of finding the open, the open person. Yeah, I mean that that's what we need for Abby, especially I think she had seven at halftime. Um, and second half, you know, I've got to do a better job of helping her and getting us in spots, but I don't want to take anything away from her. I want to be able to play free. We make shots in the first half, and a lot of that is off of her dribble penetration, uh, keeping the ball alive, and, and she did a good job. She struggled um, at Western Kentucky a little bit, um, and I thought she responded big time today.